There's a popular winter snowshoeing trail situated within Garibaldi Provincial Park in BC, Canada that leads to a solar-powered and propane heated hut. This is the Elfin Shelter next to Elfin Lakes. Although it is now late April and no longer winter, there is usually still snow until June. Today, we, as in me, Alex, Dustin, and Steven are going to try the winter trail for the first time. Make it, Dustin? I think we can easily make it. It's whether or not I want to drive up. Well, that's only 850 meters, so it's not like it's that much of a. It's failing. Oh, great. Oh, that's it. All right, cool. That's smoke. That was smoke. <laughs> The road's really rocky here, so Dustin couldn't make it up, so he's driving back down. So we need to go back down and get our stuff and then walk up to the trailhead. Yeah, so here's a tip. The last one kilometer to the start of the trail can be difficult for small cars. If there's snow, you'll definitely need chains. In our case, there wasn't snow, but it was still too rocky for the small car. We made it. <laughs> uh, did we make it all the way to the trailhead? Almost. Waiting for Dustin. Whoa. 20 minutes later. God, it reminds me like we're backpacking through Europe, except the fatter and bolder. And we're off. Ah, let's get some thumbs up actions happening here. Let's take two and we're off. Yeah. I gotta pee. We're going. There. Elfin Lakes. Nice. Nailed it. Okay, alright, so we're at the start. It is about 12 30 right now. We're estimating that it'll take us four to five hours to get to the hut and uh, it's 11 kilometers one way. So let's go. Waiting for Dustin. Snowing. Snowing hard. Hard. So what's the problem? It stopped being snow. After five kilometers of uphill climbing, we reached the Red Heather Hut, a place to warm up and take a break, but not to sleep in unless absolutely necessary. There's also a pit toilet here. Oh, it likes you. I don't think it does. <laughs> it totally comes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I won't let you go. Look at those towers. That's something around here. Oh, this is great. <laughs> oh. We might have kids. We might have to go around. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Alright, Dustin. Oh, Together, guys. Together. Why don't we just go around? This is hilarious. <laughs> I mean, what's the worst they can do? Famous last word. Why don't we just go around the tree? It probably has babies in the tree. Go, like, around that way. <laughs> Oh, 
for, I don't know, this bird is trying to, probably protecting its nest or territory. And it's still following us. So I'm gonna try not to look at it. That little guy right there. Bye bye. I'm tired. Cause it's all uphill. But look at the view. See the ocean down there. So you have to follow the orange markers. Make sure you're on the right path to the hut. I'm so tired. Oh wow, the enthusiasm. <laughs> Finally, we've reached the elephant shelter, which fits a total of up to 33 people in its bunk beds. If you want to sleep in the shelter, you need to reserve your spot online ahead. Way ahead. We booked our spots back in January, and late April was the earliest we could get. Each permit is $15. We're here. Yes, we made it to the hut. It is, uh, I think we got here around 6.20 p.m. It's now 6.20. 30 because I went to the washroom. <laughs> Priorities. Yes. There's like 33 beds in there. So. It was long, but it's very tiring. I'm ready for some food. I'm so tired. Also, look, it's solar powered. That's pretty cool. Solar powered and it has a bunch of uh, propane tanks. Yes. Inside the hut, there are two floors. The top floor is where the beds are, and below is the common area and stoves to cook with. There are a number of outhouses outside as well. And here's another tip. Bring some slippers to change into inside the hut for extra comfort because that's what I wish I did. Can show us how to floss. Floss for me, floss for me, boy. What does he even do this for? <laughs> the whole time. Okay, you do it. Do your transition. You're not your hips and tongue. It's getting better. It's getting better. See, it is getting better, actually. Part of the end is going to be hell on the, on the knees. Yeah, and we have to encounter the grouse again. The grouse attacked everybody in, this, in the uh, in the Elfin Lakes shelter. The busy grouse. All right, show us your quads. Final leg back to the car park. Yes, almost done. Yay! <laughs> I have my own fashion, okay? What? Like, ass catch him. Look at this fucking guy. <laughs> 